I played my first NHL game there. That would have been 1991 or two, I think. All my uncles and my family, my dad and my brothers, they all drove down for the game. And we used to laugh when we have family parties because my uncles, all the time, the only thing they ever remember is the first NHL autograph I signed was right out in front of Nassau Coliseum. And there was a vodka bottle that I, <laughs> that I had to sign. My uncles got a, the biggest kick out. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Just some random fan wanted you to sign? Yeah. Yeah, they were tailgating outside, you know, yeah. before the game. <laughs> Seemed like a million years ago now. The familial nature of hockey makes the nature of the business that much harder. As you're aware, the Penguins traded Carl Hagelin for Tanner Pearson in L.A. We had to change something up. I feel bad. Carl Hagelin is a very popular guy. I like him a lot personally. But at the same time, we're not tracking towards winning a Stanley Cup right now, and changes are necessary. This is a hard part of the business. He's a guy that's really been a big contributor here over the last couple of years. I have so much respect for Haggy, and both as a player and as a person. I'm grateful to him for everything that he's brought to this Pittsburgh Penguins team and helping it have success. Awesome stuff. Played unbelievable. It's a tough day for me and my family. and We hang out a lot, but this is part of business. That's If you don't play well, it's going to get changes, and that's exactly what happened. And for me personal, obviously, too bad it was that guy. We've got to find some consistency in our game. We all have to take ownership for where we're at, and now we also have to take ownership for where we're going to go from here. Mike, what you like about Tanner Pearson and what kind of role do you see for him? Obviously, he's a very good player. He has the ability to play with some of our top people. Over the next little while, we'll try to put him in a position where he can play to his strengths and be at his best and help our team win. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy day yesterday. You know, I found out on my way to the rink and then pulled a quickie and went back home and started packing up the house. And, you know, you hear those rumors and, you know, people are messaging you about them and hopefully it's a good thing for me personally. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I think, you know, look at it, my career started here. So it was good meeting all the guys this morning and it'll be a lot of fun to get on the ice with them tonight. I don't remember a Penguin team playing like this in a really long time, and Penguin's gonna wake up tomorrow morning, they're gonna be dead last in the Eastern Conference. When we see ourselves at the bottom of our conference, that's not a comfortable feeling. The expectation is just simply much higher. As we say to the guys, we're running out of mulligans. You can't win the Stanley Cup in the first two months of the season, but if you're not careful, you can lose it. That's an important lesson, and so we've got to continue to make strides here, and we've got to work for the results so that we can climb in the standings. Eichel in, takes the shot, he scores! How you feeling, good? Yeah, I feel good. You know, excited to get back in the lineup and get out there. It's never easy when you're losing games. I think guys get frustrated, and obviously we did a lot of good things last game, so we've got to build off of that. But, you know, it's always a better feeling when you're winning than when you're losing. Let's go. 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 He scores! Beautiful place in this. Nice shot, Jake. Stay hot, kid. Crosby, an immediate impact. Shoot it! Great shift, dude, three. Keep going, boys, keep going. Quick, quick, quick. Crosby at the lead. Guarding the board, he's mad, he's got a chance. He scores! Woo-hoo! He's mad! 87! Where's 
delicious goal. Yeah. Keep going, Sydney. Keep going. Fun to watch, bud. Coming at you, Sid. Coming at you. Face off win by the Penguins and the Dallas O. Sid, shoot it. Cosby finds it again. Shoot it. He's wheeling and dealing, going left side to Oldie Matter. Ah, I got you very hard. <laughs> you gotta have Hornquist there. That's part of the Thanksgiving dinner the Penguins are providing right now here. So you gotta have all those elements. You, you know what? The cranberry, it's no good. He's the cranberry. Hornquist. Boys, hello game though. Woo! Good night. 20 seconds. Best game of the year. The Pittsburgh Penguins, a much needed two points. They get the W here tonight. Woo! I want to wish everyone out there a happy belated Thanksgiving. Hope all our listeners were able to enjoy it. Some family, some food. And now the attention comes back to game action. And big news for the Penguins on Thanksgiving Day, Matt Murray headed to the injured reserve with a lower body injury. So Tristan Jari recalled by Pittsburgh, and he goes right into the action tonight, starting against these Bruins. Go, go, go! Skate, skate, skate! Sean Corrali trying to rewind. Hey, stronger. Strong. Do a body check. Brian Rust is driving to win that might have a chance. Just stop oh. the tap, it's stopped by Halak. Hey, keep your head up, man. It's not your only chance in the game. Keep going, at least it's there, you know? Minutes to go in the power play opportunity. First in the game for the Penguins. Ball good. One timer. He yeah. scores. Good nice, guys. Nice. Wow. Good job, boys. Nice. Stretch pass for Boston. Jake DeBrus taps it over to Krejci. DeBrus. One timer. He scores. Hey, change okay? Sorry. David back is cruising in. Drop the back for Wagner. Try to shot. Stop the tap. Back is and is yeah. in. The referee says no goal. Jari deep no. in the net. Wasn't in. I don't think they can see that. The call on the ice is confirmed. We have no goal. Come on, boys, let's go now. Let's go. He works his way to the far corner. Sidney Crosby twisting and turning to the point now for Latang. Near side, Dumo in a snapshot. That one goes just wide. It changed direction. I almost put that in. I almost tipped that in. Crosby over the Bruins line in the far circle. Spins off Grizzly. Oh, you had the guy roasted, back door. Dentsy took a little cut left, and the guy just fell into coverage. But if you would have gone when you went, I could have just laid it in the space and you were gone. Getting tripped up with Pasternak, right back to grab the puck. Pasternak all the way across, that pass down, low score! And it's Joakim Nordstrom in overtime to give the Boston Bruins a 2-1 victory. How do you look at points in three straight? I don't really look at it. We're looking for wins. We have higher expectations. We're trying to win every game that we're in. The Penguins now with an overall record of 8-8-5. Eight, eight, and five. They have 21 points, which ties them for the bottom spot in the Metropolitan Division. When things don't go your way, you just have to work your way out of it. And I think we could get some really good traction here last five, six, seven games. Gets on front, backhander. He shoots and scores a hat trick for Jake Gensel. Obviously, you want to play against good teams all the time, and this is what this league is all about. We play better against those top teams because we probably keep it a little more simple. The flexion goes wide. To the back in front, Sabino score! Crosby! He's got the natural hat trick! We can't get ahead of ourselves and look to the future, and we can't change what's already happened. All we can do is learn from the experiences and react the right way. Tis the season for believing, and the Penguins were getting in the spirit. I'll grab the rest of the guys. Rico, let's go. We go. Rudolph needs you. Nice. <laughs> Something funny? In the room. We got two strong readers beside me. See? Miserable. The... 
gonna eat for free at Sobe with that commercial. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. We do Spanish, like we keep wrapping one on. <laughs> we give rapid money one. Oh, uh, this is the best one, yeah. So congrats, it's yours. Congrats. You won. You guys like this one? <laughs> How long do I have to sit here? Santa's not nice today. No! Oh! <laughs> Let's go. You guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> Santa's out of here. For the second time in two weeks, the Penguins made a trade, acquiring a player from the West Coast. The time change and team change aren't always easy. Yeah, yeah it's a hectic day, you know, both yesterday and this day, so I feel like everybody's welcomed me good, even though it's just one practice, but once I found out it was Pittsburgh, I was really excited, you know. Penguins have made a deal. Daniel Sprong, the right winger, goes to Anaheim. In return, Marcus Pedersen will be on for the Penguins, and he'll get an opportunity to play here in his debut against this Colorado team. I missed it called D to D one time. Yeah. Here are the Penguins trying to add to their lead. It's shot by Pearson in to flex in. Woo! Woo! Big top, Horny. And the Pens have a 2 nothing lead. When we have success against some of those top teams, I think that's the evidence that we need to build on to move forward. Regardless of where we sit in the standings or other people sit in the standings, we believe we're a competitive hockey team. And I think it's important that we have those experiences. You need that hard evidence to have the belief and the faith. It's so good in front of that. Charged on the right side, Horn goes with a blast! Yes, it's in! It went off of Barlamov! Oh, he's on fire! Just a heavy clapper, too strong! Too strong! He was wearing the hat that was being tossed around that night, so Carmen was on his side, he was wearing the hat the whole game, and sure enough, it happened. It comes back, three still in the zone, picked up by the Penguins, Hornquist! He oh! scores! There is a goal again by Hornquist! That's three! A natural hat trick! Right? Because you're wearing that hat! Yeah, I know! <laughs> oh, hat day, that's worse. That's worse. What a day, what a day! The final score, the Pittsburgh Penguins six, and the Colorado Avalanche three. The good days continued. PPG Paints Arena went from raining hats to serenading students. It was the Penguins' annual Kids Open Practice. High fives all around. Here we go, here we go. The crowd is buzzing today. Oli, they love you. You're a fan favorite. All right, Yellow, block some shots, score some goals. It's for the kids. Yeah! You can mute that knob. Goalies shouldn't have knobs. You suck, goalies. It just feels like chaos in here. There's just so much like white noise almost. I thought he was gonna let us go. No, he only lets me go now because he feels too bad for me because I haven't scored in a year. <laughs> Whoa! Shootout, Jars. About to score some goals in the shootout here. Job! Hit the net! Dom's nasty, man. Kids don't cheer if the puck goes to the net. They just cheer after the horn. Goalies win. They, the goalies definitely didn't win today. Goalies, goalies didn't win today. They really did. I don't think they even realized. They have no clue. they were headed to Ottawa. It was the start of a three-game road trip, and on the morning of the game, the Penguins got an energetic start to the day, thanks to the enthusiasm of assistant coach, Mark Reckie. Ready? I missed one, didn't I? I needed six coffees, I only had five. We got Cully, Chad, and Juso. 
So it's like take turns, just like 10, 12 seconds. Just keep working. I might push you to the boards. Let's go. Oh, God, move your feet, move your feet. Went the wrong way. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, I missed, I missed a net by 10 feet there. I'll have to look out the hall thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice, good release. Who's that, Sully? Just tell JS he's gonna play horns, no good. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're in. Huh? You're in. And let's pull right back in with JSD. D toward the net. He shoots. He scores. JSD, his first game back with Pittsburgh. They were able to get even early in the second period thanks to JSD, but never really seemed to be able to find that next gear to take control of this game. Penguin's gonna have to rinse this one off real quick. First segment in three, two, and one. A new episode of the Highmark Coaches Show coming at you right now on the Penguins Radio Network. We thank you for being with us here on this Wednesday night. And alongside Penn's head coach, Mike Sullivan, I am Josh Getzoff. Coach, as always, appreciate you taking the time with us. Thank you, Josh. The Penn's wrapping up their regular season series already here against the New York Islanders. It'll begin with the annual dad's trip. And, uh, Coach, there seems to be something with hockey that's just a little different from a father-son combination. I think there is. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think of my dad in some way, shape, or form and what he might say to me uh, through some of the trials and tribulations that we've gone through in this early part of our season. You know, my recollection of uh, my youth hockey experience is those early morning practices at 7 o'clock in the morning and it's freezing cold and you know, your dad's tying your skates because you can't pull them tight enough. Just going through those experiences and the sacrifices that they make, it really galvanizes a relationship from a father to a son. When I text him about the fathership, I think he was pretty much a kid on Christmas morning. He loves being around the atmosphere of the rink, and it's going to be different for him meeting new dads, but I'm sure he'll have a blast. That's always the first thing you ask about him when you he, he come over here, and like, when is the father's trip? They're a big, big part in our success, and without them, there's no way I, I would be here. It's always a fun experience and a great moment and something we got to carry with us the whole life. three-game road trip rolls on tonight who have their dads in tow for the 10th time in franchise history with a stop at an old barn made new. Matt Barzell in the lane, takes the shot, that's blocked by Johnson on the scramble, kicks back over to the board. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I can't see. <laughs> I had to change, I couldn't see. All the time, I don't get it. Well, nothing I can do about that. You know how many times this beak's been broken? It's a lost cause now. Gensel pulls up, goes back for Crosby. One timer denied by Leonard. Tipped on goal, score! Yeah! Derek Brassard! Yeah! I like it. Point shot with a shot, save made, but hey. the rebound would not go because oh. Smith covers up. Wow. Nice stop, buddy. Thanks. Come on, boys. Put the nail on the coffin there. Charging toward the net, cover up a chance for all by to Smith! Oh! Oh! The Pens and Islanders, for the second time this year, will go into the shootout. Borky and Penguins looking for the extra point here tonight on the island. So Jake Gensel can win it for the Penguins. Do it for Dad Mike. He scores! Oh, yes! Is that it? That's it! That's it! <laughs> a win for the Dads, 2-1. to one. Good job. Nice, smooth. Oh, that was silky. Well, that was something special. The bond between a father and son might be the very definition of special. And as Mike Gensel told the Scoop podcast, watching your son live out his dreams is just that. This is my third time, but my first one where I'll get to do the whole trip. So I get to see two games, spend you know four days with Jake and kind of see what it's like on the life on the road in an NHL player. Was it good to see that shootout result? Yeah, it was Jake's first time, so you just don't know what number he is in the order, if he's going to get a chance or not. So yeah, when it goes in, you're pretty relieved, pretty excited. It's improbable. I mean, it is a dream. I mean, it's never something you expect. And when you don't have the opportunity yourself, you certainly like to see one of your kids have the opportunity. And for Jake to have that chance, you know, was really unique for us. Still live at home, right? Nah, uh, I just got a house. 
Finally. <laughs> Finally. He was with us so most of the summer, and then he, uh, he bought a house three days before he had to go to Pittsburgh. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is great, you know, I'll go buy a new couch, and then Dad, you got to take over from there, you know, so. The first thing I wanted to say to the dads is thank you for coming first and foremost, and we love working with your sons. They're great people. We push them hard because we have high expectations. I know we're not always their favorite guys, but trust me, we're trying to do it for the right reasons. It's been great, you know, just to meet the other dads and hear their stories and you know, they come from far and wide. You know, we all share the love for hockey and helping our sons and supporting them and it's, it's, it's great. Kind of eye-opening, actually. You know, the travel is top-notch, but it's quite a grind. It's pretty impressive, the regiment they put themselves through. You ready to put yourself to see what you're Absolutely. Every day. I think I got to shoot it tonight, boys. There we go, White. Let's go, there we go. There we go, boys. Throwing one towards the net, blocked off by the body of Brian Dumo into the near corner. Dumo. Yep. Whose kid was that? Face off one by the Penguins. A shot for the point off the outside of the net. Ooh. Oh, Dumo with a pose. On to the back at Seabrook. Fires. Score! Two to nothing. All right, don't that just suck. Time for another beer. Yeah, Rusty. Yeah, Rusty. Now here's Rust again, firing, he scores! Yes! Near circle with a shot, save the rebound, they score! There it is. Right there, it's coming around in front, oh, and a save made on Rust! Hey, it's coming, it's coming! Aston Reese fed one across, that's booted away by Seabrook. Finessed on, and Rust saved one in off Seabrook! there it is! Yes! Who's that kid? Who's that kid? Hey, Rusty, huh? There's a bounce. Are you signed up? Are going to Yeah, we're going to talk about Rusty's contract pretty soon. <laughs> Log jam of players behind and pivoting with this. Martinson out in front. Oh, it's score! They get a win tonight over a team that had been playing really well coming in. We've been through experiences where we haven't had good starts or we haven't been happy with our performance in a certain month. We just have to have a certain mental toughness and a certain resilience that this team has shown in the past. As long as we're able to work together and stay in the moment, this group has what it takes to have success. We just have to make sure that we're willing to do what it takes and put the necessary work in on a daily basis in order to be at our best. Three, two, one, go. Shoot it! Hard! Go, 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 go! I don't know what you guys talking about. I'm mic'd up, so I don't know what you guys talking about. <laughs>